What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Recently I seen Tom and Lacey from Do You Nerd answer a question of whether or not they believe they are a gamer or a collector first. So I decided to make a video response sharing my thoughts for myself on whether or not I believe I am a collector or a gamer first. Let's get into this. This is one for me that it did take me some time to really sit and think about it because I do love gaming, but I also love collecting. For me personally, I think I'm gonna have to go with collecting. As you guys can see behind me here, I do collect a whole bunch of different stuff, not just video game related items, and I absolutely love collecting what I collect, but I still enjoy gaming from time to time as well. I am still a heavy gamer, but I do collect a little bit more than I do game. For me, whenever it comes to gaming, I do have a problem whenever it comes to the PlayStation Store having sales and purchasing games while they're on sale. Right now, my current backlog is well over 200 games that I purchased on the PlayStation Store. Luckily this past year I have been clearing out a lot of that backlog and the main reason I do this is because I absolutely love getting great deals and if I see a game on the PlayStation Store for a really great price and I think it's a game that not only am I going to enjoy but I definitely am planning on playing in a couple months even then I am going to purchase it and play it. Now for the most part I do play most of these games or at least have attempted them. Some of them were not the best of games. I tried them, didn't like them, and didn't go back to them. But for the most part, I've been playing a lot of my backlog and clearing out a lot of it over the past year, but I still have about 200 games that I have yet to touch. I'm the type of gamer that I at least game a minimum about an hour almost every day. Now some days if I have a lot of extra spare time and I don't have to record YouTube videos, then I do game a little bit more, but I don't overdo it and I don't try to burn myself out like I did whenever I was younger playing the same game on repeat until I no longer like that game. That's one thing that I used to hate whenever I was younger. I used to do that all the time. Me and my friends did that back in the day with Grand Theft Auto V whenever it came out for the PS4 and I burnt myself out on that game and I no longer have interest playing that game and I think I've done it quite a few times with various games to the point that I no longer like those games anymore. Currently whenever I game I try to mix it up as best that I can but I still like to play a game until I complete it. It just might take me a little bit longer because I'm trying to always switch it up and play different games, not just one game from start to finish. As for my collecting, that has gotten away from me in the past as well. I really started to collect back in about 2017 and I started with collecting hockey cards mainly. Now back then, because I was new to collecting and hockey cards, I still loved hockey so much. That's what really got me into start collecting hockey cards but I didn't really know where to start. So that year, 2017, I was buying almost all of the different hockey card products and purchasing a ton of packs, boxes, and spent a lot of money my first year collecting hockey cards. And then I realized, I'm not going to be able to not only complete sets, but I'm not really going to be able to find the cards that I really like the most doing it that way. Over the past few years, I finally figured out what personally I want to collect when it comes to hockey cards, and that's more things like jersey cards, young guns, numbered cards, auto cards, and other things like that for the players and teams that I really like, not just any hockey card that I came across, which is a problem I had back in 2017. Every single hockey card that I ever came across, I kept and a couple years back I actually had to go through my collection and start clearing it out and posting a lot of it on eBay to sell some of that off so I was able to pay for the cards that I actually wanted to collect and keep in my personal collection. One thing for me whenever it comes to collecting, one thing that I always live by because of what happened back when I started collecting and it really got out of hand is only collect the things that you absolutely enjoy. If you're collecting so much that you're just accumulating a whole bunch of stuff, anything to add to your collection but you're no longer enjoying the things you collect or really enjoying collecting period, then maybe you need to take a step back like I did, really assess what you truly want to add to your collection and start collecting and just collect those items. Now, as you can see behind me here, I don't just collect hockey cards and collectibles, but I do really enjoy collecting a little bit of everything. In my collection, it does consist of a lot of hockey cards and collectibles, including autographs and different things like that. I also have a bunch of different PlayStation 
PlayStation consoles and handhelds, including a bunch of games, controllers, and things like that for my personal collection. But all of those are able to play in a moment's notice. I could just have to connect them to the TV and be able to play them. So I don't just collect them just to sit there. I do collect them to play those consoles and games. I also collect Funko Pops, comic books, CDs, a little bit of coins, different things from different TV shows me and my girlfriend enjoy that we do have on display here as well. Different wrestling books, movies, video games, and a whole bunch more. If I like collecting it, I'm going to collect it as long as it doesn't get out of hand. Everything that I have in my collection here is stuff that I really enjoy collecting and I really want to have in my collection. I didn't just add them to the collection for the sake of having them in the collection. I added them to the collection because I absolutely love them. Everything that I collect, I absolutely enjoy. So for me personally, yes, I do believe that I am a collector first because I love collecting a whole bunch of different things, not just video game related items, but I still do game quite a bit. But in my opinion, I believe I am a collector first. So thank you, Tom and Lacey from Do You Nerd for this amazing video idea. I absolutely loved it and had a blast. And it really took me a while to really sit and think of whether or not I believed I'm a collector or a gamer first because I do collect quite a bit and I also game quite a bit, but I'm definitely a collector first. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.